The doctor is in. Hi guys, it's Dr. Sal from DrSecrets.com. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at high blood pressure symptoms. Now, the scary thing about high blood pressure is that the most common symptom is actually no symptoms at all. A lot of the time when you think of high blood pressure, you think of somebody with um, pounding headaches or blood coming out their eyes or nose or something. The vast majority of cases of people with high blood pressure that I've come across, it was actually discovered by accident. They had absolutely no symptoms. In some cases, it was just that they attended the ER for something else. They went in for, I don't know, strep throat or a laceration or something. And just by happenstance, they had their blood pressure checked there and suddenly they realized, whoa, we got a pro another problem here. Other cases is um, people, um, employees going for physicals demanded by their um, employers. Um, that often will, will also um, pick up uh, cases of occult hypertension. People that had hypertension that didn't realize that they had high blood pressure. Oh, and um, I use the terms high blood pressure and hypertension synonymously because uh, they, they basically mean the same thing. So what exactly is hypertension or high blood pressure? Let's take a look here at our anatomy board. The easiest um, way that I could put it in with an analogous structure is to consider your, your uh, blood flow to be like an irrigation system. So the heart is the main pump pushing this um, water of life around your body. And all the, the blood vessels uh, carrying it here, there, helter-skelter, is the irrigation system. So here's a farming irrigation system here showing you how it spreads water across all these leaves. In your own body, the irrigation system is carrying blood, which carries nutrients, carries the same water, and also carries um, oxygen, all very important to tissues, um, to all these different end organ systems. So just like in real life, if this pressure system here goes haywire, and suddenly you have the pressure coming out like at the rate of a fire hydrant, what you would find is all these delicate um, tissues or plants here will get decimated by excessive um, exposure to, to water pressure. Similarly, so this is just to show you here how our own irrigation system works, running from large uh, ducts to smaller tributaries, all the way down to little tiny fine capillaries. So again, um, as I was just alluding to, if you consider it like a pipe system, the aim is to keep your blood pressure under or equal to 140 over 90. Above that uh, pressure head, what we start to see on pathology specimens or cadaver studies is that there's evidence of what we call end organ damage. So in other words, the end organs receiving the blood from the heart start to show evidence of damage from the constant pounding against the, the tissues um, 60 to 80 times per minute uh, for decades. Basically shattering them over time microscopically. So that is the aim to keep your blood pressure. Now what are some of the symptoms that you could get if you have high blood pressure? Well, Let's look at this slide here. There's a few um, that should be mentioned. Um, now in all of these cases uh, what we're talking about here is not slight high blood pressure. We're talking about extreme high blood pressure. So blood pressures in excess of 180 um, over 100. So one of the things you may get is um, edema of the eye. So the, the internal structures of the receptor retina of your eye may actually get swollen may actually have bleeds in it or little um, flame hemorrhages if you look with the ophthalmoscope. In the heart, the heart may simply not be able to keep up with the demand after a period of time so it can lead to a heart attack. Um, your kidneys, again, they become shattered from the constant pounding. It's like somebody knocking on your door too hard. The constant pounding eventually can cause uh, damage to the kidneys which we call nephropathy which can lead to chronic renal failure, may even see um, blood in the, in the urine. Then for the brain, um, the shattering pressure going through the delicate structures of your brain can lead to strokes. Um, and this type of stroke is a hemorrhagic stroke. Most strokes are actually small clots that get in the brain. What we're talking about here is hemorrhagic, where the blood vessel actually blows apart from the um, excessive um, pressure exposure. 
And um, then you can also get a, a, a brain swelling type of encephalopathy, which um, would be characterized by confusion, headaches, convulsions. So again, these are the main complications of persistent, very high blood pressure. For most other people with um, moderate to mild blood pressure, um, they may notice nothing, or the first time they may notice it is when something goes extremely haywire, like they have a heart attack and present to the emergency department. Or they start, they don't suffer with migraines and suddenly they get these awful, uh, pounding, throbbing headaches that they never suffered with before. But again, the main take home message is periodically, if you're not sure, you should get your blood pressure tested, especially if you're at risk for it, you're overweight, or you have a real strong family history of high blood pressure, or you're over 40, you should be getting your blood pressure checked um, annually. And you don't necessarily have to go in to see your, your doctor to do this. A lot of pharmacies have um, public blood pressure machines where you can just go in, you sit down, you put stick your arm in, uh, 10 seconds later you have a reading, and then you know you're in the clear and that you're safe. And maybe six months later you can check it again, or maybe a year later depending on your age. So that ladies and gentlemen is uh, High Blood Pressure Secrets. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so I can keep you up to the minute updated as I upload new videos. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now.